is up ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? Today, I am doing a mindless horror mini cast, episode 15. Like I said, with the nerd fan base, if I can't get a guest or my co-host, if they're busy, someone can't make it or something, I do the mini cast just to inform you on the latest, uh, biggest news. We got 10 things to talk about today, so let's get right to it. Um, first thing we're going to talk about, Andrew Lincoln and Lauren Cohen, stars of The Walking Dead, have came out and said that this is going to be their last time on The Walking Dead this season, which if you guys watch season 8 of The Walking Dead, it makes perfect sense for them to leave uh, now because uh, this season Maggie's going to try to overthrow everything and um, her and Rick going at it will be a good ending for both of them. Maybe they kill each other, who knows. Um, but it should be a good end to the season hopefully and I am very much looking forward to seeing how they write them off. Um, and yeah. Uh, with the topic of The Walking Dead, uh, Norma Reedus was offered a lot of money to take the uh, lead role for the show, so we will see what happens uh, going into season 10. If they do do a season 10, will Norman Reedus be the new uh, Rick of the show? Who knows what will happen, um, but we'll find out. Third thing we're going to talk about, Deadpool 2 star Adam Wingard is going to star in the new Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. If you guys are not familiar with the kaiju universe that's going on right now. We had Godzilla, then Kong, uh, Kong Skull Island, and then we're going to do Godzilla 2, King of Monsters, and then it's going to end up leading up to Godzilla vs. King Kong, the remake, not the one from the 30s where he eats electricity and gets powerful, that was the dumbest shit ever, but uh, in this one, um, it's going to be a legit reboot and stuff like that, and Adam Wingard, he was fantastic in Deadpool 2, he played uh, Fire Hands and or Fire Fists or whatever, and he was just amazing in that uh, movie. He was funny, he was great, he's a good actor, good young talented actor. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing how they're going to incorporate him in Godzilla vs. Uh, King Kong. Is he going to be um, maybe uh, I think a little kid in there, obviously, or maybe he's probably going to be a smart kid. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Let's see how that goes. Um, Bill Skarsgård, he's gearing up very differently for it chapter two he said in the first movie he took it um, a little bit different because he was working with kids now he's gonna be working with adults so he's got to gear up a little bit more different for this movie I'm very much looking forward to this, the second installment of the it uh, uh, little you know sequel that they do because this one's gonna focus on the adults and we've gotten confirmation that it's gonna go back to the kids so the kids will be in this movie as well as uh, flashbacks from when they were little and stuff like that so very much looking forward to seeing what they got to uh, to bring for It Chapter 2. Um, it Chapter 1, like I said, was fantastic, and I can't wait to see what uh, Chapter 2 has to bring. The Crow reboot has been officially canceled due to the director stepping down and Jason Momoa stepping down. Jason Momoa has come out and said he just doesn't feel like this is the right time to make it, although he still really much wants to play the character. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with The Crow with... Um, what's his name? Brandon Lee, uh, Bruce Lee's uh, son, who uh, passed away during the production of that movie. Um, it is a fantastic movie. He's a, a, one of those heroes that comes back from hell and ends up killing uh, the guys who killed him and his girlfriend. Um, so it's a very good story, a very dark story, a uh, very kind of gothic look to it. And um, yeah, I was really looking forward to seeing the reboot with Jason Momoa. I think he would have been a great... Uh, person to fill the role of the crow but unfortunately they just feel it's not the right time yet and the director just stepped down so we're gonna have to wait some ways I don't think the project is completely dead I just think it's it's gonna be a while till we see this crow remake we're not gonna see it anytime soon though I think because Jason Moe is focusing so much focusing so much on the Aquaman stuff that he kind of just wants to have his mindset on one thing at a time so props to Jason Momoa though he's a great actor and stuff like that so uh, yeah, uh, Netflix, they dropped the new Magic Order te uh, teaser, so it's going to be like their uh, superhero horror universe. Uh, they're going to try to start, um, you know, thanks to Marvel and DC, everyone's starting to try, uh, you know, start a shared universe and stuff like that. But shared universes with some stuff work out, like Crypt TV is doing, of course, the uh, monster shared universe, and I thought that was awesome. Um, Godzilla's doing a kaiju universe and, and like that, so maybe this one might be uh, good. I have not seen the teaser yet, but if you guys want to see the teaser, it is out now uh, by Netflix, so go check that out. I don't know when it's supposed to come out or not, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, Spawn got casted. Uh, with Jamie Foxx is officially taking on the role of Spawn. Todd McFarlane is coming back to write and direct the movie, and it is announced that Blumhouse will be producing the movie, so... My Horror Nights instinct kind of kicks in is maybe we'll see that as a maze one year because I think Spawn would be an amazing maze. Um, you got the demons and stuff from Spawn that would work out perfect. Spawn himself is a pretty scary looking character and stuff like that so 
It's going to be cool. The announcement was made, I think, last week in the picture with Todd McFarlane, Jamie Foxx, and Jason Blum were all taken together, announcing the project of it being casted and who's producing it. So I've said it before and I'll say it again. Blumhouse is a hit or miss company, but they've been on a roll lately. So uh, props to Blumhouse for taking the, the leap for Spawn, man. You're going to make your first superhero movie and stuff like that. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Jurassic World its taking over American Ninja Warrior this week. If you guys are fans of the show American Ninja Warrior, the parkour show where you prove to be a uh, ninja and stuff and jump around and stuff like that, Jurassic World will be taking over. Everything will be Jurassic World themed. They'll probably have uh, people dressed up in dinosaurs coming out and stuff like that to promote the movie and stuff. Hopefully we'll get some guest stars on there, maybe Chris Pratt or somebody like that. That'd be pretty cool. I have not seen any of the teasers for it. There is teasers out though announcing it this week. Um, Jurassic World is set to come out June 22nd. and. Um, that's literally, as of this recording, about two or three weeks away now, so very much looking forward to that. Um, I might have to check that out, record it to see it uh, this week, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, Alien Covenant star Amy Sementz is set to be the female lead in Pet Cemetery. so if you guys don't know who Amy uh, Sementz is, she played uh, the main uh, character in Alien Covenant, which was a fantastic Alien movie, and she is set to star in the Pet Cemetery remake uh, that they are making. Uh, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, obviously, but Stephen King makes such good stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to make this Pet Cemetery with today's technology and CGI. Um, the, of course, the original one is such a cool classic and it lives up to its reputation, but sometimes stuff like that is meant to be remade, so let's just see. Hopefully, this remake's going to be pretty good, and let's see if Amy Sinets can uh, live up to her role. And the last thing we're going to talk about is Devil May Cry 5. It may show up at E3 this year for a panel. Um, Devil May Cry, if you guys aren't familiar, is that famous uh, series with demons and stuff like that. I've played Devil May Cry, I think it was 3, and it was a pretty good, uh, it was pretty good, I enjoyed it, and uh, I have not beat it yet, but from what I've played, I've enjoyed it, so if you guys are fans of video games and horror, that's definitely a game you guys should check out, but Devil May Cry 5 may show up at E3, and if it does, be on the lookout, guys, because I'm probably going to drop some new stuff, especially with Xbox One and PS4 being on a roll lately with all their fantastic quality games, as well as the PC and stuff like that, so yeah. That's going to do it for today's Mindless Horror Minicast, episode 15. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully next week I have a guest star or George back. Uh, we'll find out. Um, I'm in talks with uh, Awkward R6, so he might be coming back to the podcast. Always love having him on the channel. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.